r slash ask reddit what are you starting to like less and less the older you get social media it's vapid boring and a continuous stream of advertisements now i remember when it used to be fun now i've deleted pretty much all forms of it except reddit dude literally everything is advertisements now it's getting exhausting even i message games are littered with advertisements i remember when instagram had just one advertisements you had to skip in between stories now there's two if you want to go to the next story on snapchat there's an advertisement you have to look at before you can i hate it not just social media either. I can't pump gas without a tiny TV screen yelling at me about this or that. With 8 other tiny TV screens yelling the same thing just off time a little. All the while the overhead speaker also advertising some crap. Being sick. It was an excuse to stay home and play video games when I was a child. And my body could usually fight it off pretty well. Sick days weren't even that bad. Now my body hurts a lot more with much lesser illnesses. Symptoms linger around much longer, and many times it's not serious enough to justify staying home so I just have to go about my day anyways. If I do get sick enough to stay home from work I am nowhere close to being in good spirits. I am not playing video games all day long. I am laying in bed contemplating where it all went wrong. I remember the joy I'd feel when I'd start getting a scratchy throat etc. It meant comfort food and just lying on the sofa with a duvet. No school. I also remember when my daughter was a few weeks old, and I had a killer migraine and was just quietly weeping as I washed and sterilized some bottles. I realized I wouldn't not be able to have a proper sick day again. For a very long time. Seriously. Being sick with kids is terrible. Also terrible is yourself being tired. Or even worse, sick. With a sick kid, you know you need to give them time and attention and comfort them. But you're just not able to. At those moments I feel like a very shitty parent. Leaving the house lol. This. People in public are so crazy and obnoxious now. Rather stay home and chat with friends through xbox. Public? I just don't like people in general. They're awful. My knees. Right there with you. I even got rid of one of mine and have an aftermarket model now. I did that, and the no pain. Part of it had me schedule the other one. Man, whole new lease on life. 4. Getting up in the morning. I mean, I love the fact that I'm alive. But shit getting up and out of bed so works. That's the worst part of my day every day. I always say the hardest part of my day is getting up and getting to work. Once I'm at the office, it's fine and manageable. But damn it that first hour getting out of bed and out of the house is rough. Working. I dunno. I never really liked it in the first place. Same. Hated school as well. And I wasn't bullied or anything like that. I just always preferred being at home. Real talk, slowly forgetting what it was like to be a kid, as I was growing up, I always told myself I'll never forget how I operate and think right now like all these adults around me who don't understand us, and here I am, not being able to remember what it was like to be a child, sorry past self. I feel like I've never been able to figure out how to stop being a kid, and I'm almost 40. I still have the same lack of reverence for authority that I used to, the same disinterest in career and responsibilities and looking adults to other people. I did get married, but my wife can be pretty childish at times. So it works, mostly, 10 years married. Now, I look around at all the other adults taking everything in life so seriously, and I don't get it. Sometimes it makes me laugh. For example, I can see a bunch of people in suits having a serious meeting about a serious thing, and suddenly it will all seem ridiculous. I'll think, come on guys, what is all this? Stop pretending, you're not important, you're apes wrapped in fabric. In the last 6 or 7 years I've started to experience something unsettling. I'll be interacting with a person who looks old to me, and so my brain has categorized them as grown up, just like it did with my parents friends, or with teachers etc. 30 years ago, but then I'll discover that old person is actually younger than I am. For example, I'll be out shopping with my wife and she'll run into an old classmate and start catching up. I'll idly wonder. Who is this older lady my wife knows? Then I find out who she is, and my brain goes, wait, my wife is younger than me, which means she is younger than me. Oh shit, 
I feel the aches and pains that are starting to become more common as I age physically, but I otherwise don't feel my age. Sometimes I'll catch my reflection in a department store mirror and it takes a moment for my brain to recognize that the nearly middle aged guy I'm looking at is me. I study myself in the mirror at home and even though I see the wrinkles and the white hair swiftly taking over my head I don't seem to see anyone different than I did 25 years ago. You're not important. Your apes wrapped in fabric. Yup, that line is gonna live rent free in my mind forever. People. What a bunch of bastards. I can only hear this in Chris O'Dowd's voice. My life and choices. For real, dealing with the consequences of those choices made in the past is not fun. Seriously, hey, teens, odds are you will live to be 40, or even 43. Try some self care please. Balls, used to love hanging out at the local mall with friends as a teen but as an adult, I fully just beeline straight to what I need to get and then it's just survival mode until I get back to my car. Probably because most of the fun novelty stores are gone, it's all the same fashion and sport outlets and my local mall, they all feel the same now. Absolutely, the cool bookstores aren't around, nor are the video game arcades or anything worth going to. On the bright side I spend a lot less money but I miss that sense of exploring. Driving at night. When headlights come at me while I drive at night I basically spend the whole time hoping I'm in the right lane. I drive 40 minutes to work in the dark and 40 minutes home in the dark from pretty much September until April. It's horrifying. LED headlights should have never been a thing. They're great for seeing but too blinding to other drivers. I just drive as slow as I can until they pass and everyone behind me can get over it. Honestly, video games. I still like them. But I feel like only 1 out of 10 hold my attention more than a few minutes. Even then, I don't complete many these days. When I was a kid, I would play just about anything and I would do so for hours on end. For me I still love video games. But I notice specific types of games I become less interested in. I have practically no interest in FPS games anymore. They just bore me. They were never my preferred genre to begin with but I used to at least like tolerate them. Also I'm not as inclined to play morgs like I used to. Although I do still think they're fun on occasion. Multiplayer games in general are fine. But morgs specifically is what I mean. Ha. Huh. For me MMOs just take way too much time investment before I can get to the meat. I've sworn off them as a result. Large crowds, waiting in lines, small talk, and doing laundry. If I see a line with more than 10 people I'll just say to myself duck this shit and walk away. Unless it's at the register at the grocery store. LOL for me the threshold is pretty much 4 people. Enjoyment and happiness doesn't hit like it used to. I am still generally happy and enjoy doing things, but it doesn't get me as excited as it has in the past. I had an older friend who said getting older was like the roller coaster ride evening out. Highs not so high but lows not so low. In those cases I focus on being bored and going on dopamine fasts to help t hat. Staying out late like past 9pm is late. Work has my eyes tired by 5pm. I'm physically tired by 7. Yup, nowadays my idea of a party is being in bed by 9pm with a good audiobook, so I can close my eyes and just listen. Birthdays. I just had a birthday. 38. My dad gave me some organic strawberries that were delicious. My boyfriend bought me cheap wine and Chinese food. Also delicious. No cake. No party. No fanfare. Best birthday ever. Red heart. My birthday this last year, 26, was also my best yet. I took my son on a walk to a nursery and bought myself four gorgeous plants. Then my parents sent me cookies in the mail and then I booked a boat ride for my husband, son, and myself. It was genuinely an amazing day I will always remember. The normal life. The fact that I'm expected forced, financially, to spend more time at work than with my family has really been weighing on me ever since my daughter was born. That sounds physically and emotionally tiring. I hope you have support for yourself in addition to the love of your family. Sugary don't know why but I want to taste the actual food more than the taste of it coated in sugar. 20 year old me would find it hard to believe 30 year old me likes black coffee. I do still like cream and sugar in it. Depending on how much. Anyway, 
but I can just as easily do without them entirely. 20 year old me won't even dare to think of it. 20 year old me also had a preference for sweeter breakfast foods, cinnamon rolls, pancakes, french toast, donuts, etc. Now I prefer more savory breakfast, sausage, hash browns, potato hash, oatmeal, like this could possibly count as sweet but emo it's not as sweet as the others, grits, I like butter, salt and pepper grits, omelettes eggs, etc. I still like sweet sometimes, but the difference is that if I have something sweet I have to have something savory with it. I used to be able to put away a yard of cotton candy at a baseball game. Now even a fraction of that makes me feel sick. I've definitely lost my sweet tooth as I've aged. Spending money. When I was younger, I'd save up cash and buy clothes and shoes and food and all kinds of useless shit. Now I'm in my 30s and it feels like I'm bleeding money just to survive. I'm currently looking for a new apartment with an unit laundry and you'd think having laundry in your apartment was a luxury for kings and queens. But how does anybody afford anything? To be fair, that's not just a you thing. Stagnant wages, increasing costs of living, etc. All contribute to the average person having less spending saving power than they did in the past. Alcohol. I'm 33, and I think it's a waste of money and doesn't make me feel good. It just makes me bloat and makes me feel shitty the next day. I still drink on occasion, but very seldom these days. Yes, the older I get, the less I enjoy alcohol. In my 20s, I could drink all evening and get up to go to work the next day. If I drank too much, I'd feel a little ill the next morning but bounce back by noon. Once I hit my mid 30s, a night of overindulgence would leave me feeling like death the entire next day. I'm now in my 40s, and anything over 1. 5 drinks will keep me from sleeping at all and leave me bloated for days. I used to love red wine, but now it gives me splitting headaches. I have maybe 2-4 drinks per month. Also, my tolerance for conversation with drunk people is increasingly low, and you start to realize that those friends who still binge drink frequently like they're in their 20s might be alcoholics. Loud noises. What? Aye aye captain. Getting drunk. I've had a thousand wonderful nights with some of the most amazing people and I can hardly remember any of it. Plus it makes me fat, makes me wanna smoke, and very rarely but enough that it sucks it makes me an a-hole. I can barely drink anymore at 35. I went out last weekend thinking, I haven't drank for ages. Let loose and deal with the consequences. I had two glasses of wine and a beer. I felt bloated and knackered so I went home. Rock and roll baby. Man. There are sitcoms I used to like several years ago. I go back and watch them now and they just seem crude and dumb. I agree. I see shorts of stuff from Big Bang Theory or Friends and all I can think is how insufferable and just outright mean these characters are. The jokes aren't all that funny either. There's a really good AMC series that just ended. Two seasons. 16 eps total. Called Kevin Can Duck Himself that's about exactly this. Half of it is a very typical family friend sitcom and the other half is a drama about what the wife of the main character's life is actually like when she's not with him. The sitcom parts are brightly lit multi-cam scenes and the drama parts are dimly lit single cam. The sitcom bits seem so run of the mill. Then the stupid throwaway jokes become fleshed out in the drama bits and you really see how awful the people are. It's such a good deconstruction of the sitcom. Acting like I'm happy to be at work and like I give a shit about the other people I work with. Stanley was the most accurate character of The Office. I never put on that facade to begin with, and my co-workers hate me for it. I can't be bothered. Existence itself is tiring enough without putting on a little act. The state of the world. Driving. I loved cruising around. Now I'm really scared some rondo is going to kill me while texting or not checking their mirrors or making a video. Working 10 hours a day. I also do 10 to 12 hours but only work 4 days instead of 5. That extra day off is absolutely worth a couple hours more on work days. Christmas. What used to be fun and magical has now become stressful and a chore. It's our job to create the magic now. Adults created it for us. That's why you miss it. Everything about society. It's silly but the more I learned the more I hate it. 
It's built on atrocities. It's made to support the few. We work to die. And it's all going horribly. It's a game none of us invented. Or consent to. But if you don't play. You're gonna have a hard time living. Heat. I live in South Florida where people from colder climates covet our weather. They don't understand the hell that is humidity. Most of the time I walk from my car to my doorstep. I'm drenched in sweat. Walking my dog in humidity is like walking through a hot cloud. I live inland so I don't get the ocean breeze. The air feels like soup. Also, this is not the heat of my Florida youth. It was always hot, but never like this. Worse, our air conditioners cannot keep up with the constant heat. I live in Thailand and weather-wise it can only be described as a helmet. It's hot and humid during the day. It's hot and humid at night. It's hot and humid in July. It's hot and humid in January. 40 degree days and 30 degree nights with 90% humidity are getting on my nerves. Employment. I grow tired of this rat race. Debating. I just get tired of defending myself. All I want to do is go home and sleep. Can we just agree to disagree? Oh and also my back. Social media. Going to work. Large crowded areas events. Everything. Candy. I prefer baked goods more often now. The typical bar scene. I get off work and want to unwind. I don't enjoy the loud, nearly shouting level of noise at the typical bars. I want medium volume bars that are fun and lively, but not noisy. I miss my old. Favorite bar. Covered economy killed it. Craft beers and good appetizers is what I want after a long day. Not shots and drunken fools. Parties bar same scene played out over and over with the same faces and conversations. Just paying for the privilege to feel shitty and distract yourself from problems rather than work on them. Modern packaging. Last night I had to use a pair of pliers to get the lid off a container of Hagen Das. Jesus. Hi I was just saying this the other day trying to open a jar of pickles with two different barriers of security like who are they keeping you from? The pickle bandits howl in the night. Going to social gatherings where you only know a few people, but not the rest. Fast food. I'm not sure whether food places got even worse than they already were, or if my stomach is just getting weaker due to old age. I feel absolutely nauseous after a run through a drive through anymore. I wear earplugs in the house just to turn the city down. Loud, obnoxious people. How society functions. It's amazing how the masses just follow the rules. They're content with barely livable wages and $7 frozen pizzas. I can tell you that a good portion of folks are not content with it. But most of them follow the rules because it basically takes getting arrested once to lose everything you worked for. You have to be perfect at all times or lose everything. And unlike 1899, you can't walk into a train station in a new suit and make yourself anew. Everything is tracked, catalogued, and put into databases. You should see the shit insurance companies share with each other for skit tracing. And every person who has ever had an insurance policy since 1985-ish I think, isn't there, could be longer now. Capitalists spend all day figuring out exactly how to keep you on the balls. They extract wealth at our expense and distract us with meaningless bullshit. Is society really affected by drag queens in libraries? They sure want us to think that. But you sure don't hear about legislation incentivizing build out of dents, affordable urban housing and first time homes with regulations on who can buy the things. Or worker reform. Influencers and internet personalities. Alcohol just a headache waiting to happen. People who drive aggressively or distracted on their phones. You are controlling a deadly weapon. Your IG story does not entitle you to take my life at risk or my family's just so we can get to the same light 10 seconds apart. A cell phone on my person. I feel that sent from my iPhone. Cold weather. It feels worse when you're older with arthritis. Other parents and their children. Other adults. Yes, teenagers and children can be hormonal and annoying and have unrealistic expectations on everything from their parents to what they should be able to decide for themselves. But us adults need to stop believing that we are so much better than them. 
Most of us act pretty damn similar with the difference being that we can't blame puberty or an immature brain for our shitty decisions. Our unwillingness to take some damn responsibility in society unless it will be directly rewarded. Or our belief that we automatically know more about everything. Crowds and standing in line for anything. People. Loud music. Yep, I know it's a ducking stereotype, but I'll happen to you. 2. There you are. Trying to enjoy yourself with your partner, and ducking mind-numbing music, of the type you generally don't enjoy, comes pouring out of speakers. Lack of manners. Gift giving for people outside your immediate family. How about I buy the things I want and you buy yours? Bullshit. No time for it. At all. Young women. As I'm aging I'm finding that I find older women more and more attractive and younger women less and less. Hookup culture. My testicles submerging in toilet water. Leaving my house. LOL. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.